Hello, 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 hello. Hello guys, hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to another Monday, 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 Monday blues. How, 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 how are you? How are you day? How are you day? How are you doing? How are you day? How are you day? So today I'm gonna be helping you to start your Monday or to end your day, okay? So I just want to get you to just settle down wherever you are right now. Just take a few minutes. Okay, a few minutes just to yourself, to yourself, to yourself, to yourself. So I'm gonna be whispering today. Whispering, whispering. You guys know I'm not used to this whispering. So um hopefully the audio will be much better this time because when I whisper last time. The audio kept calling out, so hopefully it's better this time. But anyway, 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 anyway. Let me just check up on you. So, this month, happy new month. So this month, July, the, this month of July is the month of joy. And this was declared by our man of God. This month is the month of joy. So joy in your heart, joy in your soul rejoice in the name of the lord and you are blessed okay so want to joy 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 okay 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 so i am going to be reading from the bible today chapter i'm going to read you from today is john 3 16 okay so let me open that up and then we can get into it john 3 16 john 3 16 okay i have it here so so this is john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And this is verse 17. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. And then verse 18 says, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but Whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God, one and only Son. Then verse 19 says, This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men loved the darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. And then verse 20 says, Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come to the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. And then verse 21, But whoever leads by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. That was beautiful. God is love. You know, God loves humanity so much. He loves me. He loves you. That, you know, there was so much evil, darkness, wickedness in this world. And we, we became separated from God. But then he sent his only son. Jesus came and bridged that gap. He sent his only son so that we may have eternal life. He sent his only son to die for our sins, to be crucified, so that we might have eternal life through Christ. God is love. And for me personally, I've been on this spiritual journey, getting to know more of his words scripture and my spiritual growth now compared to years ago it's on a different level and i'm still learning i'm still growing and it's been an amazing a 
it's been amazing. And the thing is, for me personally, yes, I grew up in a religious household, but I never really practiced Christianity. I always had faith, but I never knew his words. I always had faith, but I never knew his words. There was always doubt. Even when I had faith, there was always doubt. And I've been through so much. When I say so much, I've been through so much. But he was always there for me. Was the thing that he was always there for me. It's amazing. He's an unchangeable God. He loves you. And that's to say that it's never too late. And during those times when I was going through hard times, I didn't have this hunger or this hunger to say, I want to get to know, know him better. I want to you know, get to know Jesus when I didn't. I felt like I was at a place where I felt ready. It was like, I felt I was at a place where I felt like I had this hunger in me. I had this, I wanted, I had this cure. I wanted to know more. I wanted to learn more. So I became more intentional. In going to church, you know, listening, learning. I used to go to church years ago. I would go to church, but I never find a place where I could actually fellowship with him. I would go to church, but it's never too late. You know, his his hands are wide open to accept you. And because Jesus bridged that gap, we're no longer separated from him. We now have eternal life to Christ. He died and resurrected. So that's to say that if you are at a place right now whereby you know you're seeking him, you're wanting to learn more about him, you can do that. It's never too late. All you have to do is just repent, believe in Christ Jesus, that he died. He was crucified on the cross. He died for your sin. And just accept him as your Lord and Savior. And then just do your best each day to walk according to his righteousness. And for me personally, it's been an amazing, that just using myself as an example, as a testimony. It's been an amazing journey. There is no going back for me. Um, the interesting thing is the space where I was, where I was more hungry to get to know him more. Where I was like, you know, I want to get to know him. I want to more intentional. go to church, listen to his words, actually listen. I like to feed my soul, my spirit, understand it. And I'm still learning compared to before where I would go to church. But I wasn't really listening to the words. It wasn't sinking into my soul, my spirit. But I always had faith and he was always there for me. So now when I think about all the things that he has done in my life, those moments where, where I felt like I was alone, but I was never alone. He was always there. So that's just using me as a testimony. And yeah, it's beautiful. And I'm so thankful for his mercy in my life. Yeah, so guys, that concludes the end of this video today. I hope I was whispering. I hope I was whispering because I feel like sometimes I feel like my whispering voice goes into my soft-spoken voice. But that was a beautiful chapter. Just remember that you're blessed and you're never alone, okay? You are never alone. You are never in all you loved, okay? Okay, 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 okay. And remain blessed. And remember, this month of July is a it's uh, the month of joy. Joy, 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 joy. Alright, so I'm gonna let go and I shall talk to you later. Remain blessed.